Hi, I'm Clint Ruckus. I'm a product manager on Windows, and let's talk today about Windows Template Studio. Windows Template Studio is the fastest way from zero to F5 to building out your application. So let's talk a little bit about the goals of Windows Template Studio. It's a solid starting point for your application. Our primary goal is simplicity, so we don't do too much. Our goal is just enough to help get you going. That way you don't delete source code and you don't uh, run the risk of deleting too much. Also, throughout the code, we have simple, uh, uh, helpful documentation tips and to-dos for you as a developer to, to execute on. We're also open source. We're under the MIT license and we happily accept pull requests. Some of the best features are done by the community, such as Visual Basic support, which is coming in the next couple of releases, is done by a couple of great community members led by Matt Lacey. Uh, we also, in our upcoming release, are adding Caliburn Micro Framework, which was done by a community member also, and multiple pages and features have been added by them. But let's jump straight in and show you how to use Windows Template Studio. So I'm going to go over to Visual Studio. We'll talk a bit about how to install it and where to look at the GitHub as well shortly after the video, but let's jump straight in here. So from your file new project, you can see right here, Windows Template Studio, is a project type, and you type in your project name and your solution name, and you just hit OK. From here, you're going to be graded with a very friendly wizard. This wizard goes out and checks every 24 hours if there's an updated template, and as you can see, what it's doing right now. Once it grabs the template, it will show you multiple things, such as your project type, along with your uh, framework. So here you can say, project type, this is your global navigation of your application, along with your framework. So right now, I'm going to pick Navigation Pane. And let's say I'm unsure what the MVVM framework is. All I have to do is hit this little I to learn more, and I get a helpful prompt along with understanding the license or potentially what is the potential item I clicked on. So here, I could click this link and go to the MVVM Frameworks homepage. So MVVM Lite sounds like a great framework for me to pick, so I'm going to select that. And as you can see on my right-hand side here, I've taken a, li a license dependency on them. So I'm going to click Next. And from here, you can see uh, I can add in pages and features. So I'm going to quickly add in a settings page. I'm going to add in a web view. And I'm going to rename this also and call it uh, My Awesome Web Page and click OK. I'm going to add in a grid page as well. And let's add in a maps page. So I'm going to add in a Maps page. And because I think Map pages are pretty cool, I'm going to make drag that to the top, and that will become my default loading page. Now, all applications should probably be able to suspend and resume, so I'm going to add that feature. With one click, it's that easy. If I wanted to add in background tasks, I could add that in also, along with toast notifications, live tiles, first time run prompts, and even a Yuri schema so that I can deep link into my application. And that sounds like a great idea, so I'm going to do that as well. So with that, I click Create, and now my application is going to be created. So while this is actually generating all the source code needed, let's go check out the, the GitHub page along with the um, sp place to download everything. So you can either download the source code from, I'm sorry, download the extension from Visual Studio or go to aka.ms slash WTS install and you'll be uh, put on the Visual Studio Marketplace. Just by clicking download from this page and running the VizX file, it will install into Visual Studio. It's really that easy. Uh, here on the GitHub page, you can see where we have all our source code, all our commits, all our branches. We do everything in the public along with all our issues and feature requests. So if you want to contribute, we have an entire section on how you, where to go, how to contribute, how to author templates, and get going if you want to help contribute back to Windows Template Studio. So now the application should be already generated. So I'm going to tab over. And here you can see the application. You can see the pages, and uh, everything is localized, along with uh, all our source code files here. So my navigation service looks exactly like you'd expect, or I'm sorry, or the location service looks exactly like an, an, a 
good best practice lo uh, location service. And here, if I go to my to-do list, you can see I actually have to-dos here for me as a developer, So such as, hey, go get your map service token. If you don't have one, you click here, and then you put it into your application. It's We try to make your life as easy as possible with these developer tasks. So what I can also do here is, let's say I forgot a page. I can right-click on my solution, go down to Windows Template Studio, and go to Add Page. So from here, I can add in additional pages and build out my application as if you'd expect yourself to be able to do it from a, uh, a, a right-click add as well. So it's going to go and look, once again, do I have additional templates really quick. And let's go add in a master detail page. So I'm just going to rename it once again. You can see everything here and along with the dependencies. Master detail page takes a dependency on sample data. So I'm just going to go click Next really quick. And here, you're going to see all the files that we added, the new files, the files that we've modified, along with the unchanged files. And if you don't feel comfortable with us adding in the, the source code, we, all you have to do is click this Do Not Merge Changes. We'll create a folder, and you can add in the files by yourself. So here you can see, uh, for the sample data service, we added in using system threads, and this little part at the bottom for enumeration. Uh, I click Finish, and this page and services then are added into my source code. I can F5, and this will create. So as this is adding items to the project, you'll see a full down markdown file as well as everything that we've added in. You can hit F5, and then this project will compile and build out, and let's go see what that project looks like. Okay, so now the, pro the program has launched, and let's go quickly walk through this simple application. So because I selected the map page to launch first, you can see now it's asking for my location. It defaulted to uh, Pike's Place, and I'm going to click Yes, and so it's going to jump to Microsoft Campus shortly. Here, I can expand out. I can see my main page, my awesome web page, along with Grid, my master detail page. This was the page we just added. You can see it walking through all the sample stuff along with my settings. So I can go click light theme, dark theme, my Windows default, and it just works exactly how you'd hope it would. So let's go through and once again, let's talk about the call to actions here. Namely, to install Windows Template Studio, you can go to aka.ms slash WTS install. And if you want to contribute back to Windows Template Studio, you can go to aka.ms slash WTS, and that will give you to our uh, GitHub page. Please log any issue that you want to add a new feature so we can have a great discussion about it and how to implement it appropriately. Thank you.